Blessings to you all. Welcome back to Rise and Grind Church. This is a ministry who has the mandate to help you rise higher in Christ and to really overcome certain obstacles in your mind through perspectives, through uh, religious thinking that has kept you bound, that maybe has even kept you blocked. And so if you're if your heart's desire is to really grow in the Lord and to see a new, fresh perspective from the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, then we invite you to be a part of this ministry. And we're so grateful for all of you who have partnered with us, who have joined in. And when I say partner, then I mean that you're actively engaged in the things that we share, the messages, the prophetic words, the teachings, all of these things, and that they're helping you to really grow, to really reach that higher ground in the Lord. And so, uh, well, my name is LaShondra, by the way, and myself and my husband, Pastor Jamal, we welcome you to the ministry. So the Lord has been speaking to me about this. He gave me a vision September 26th, and he was bringing it back to me yesterday. And he gave me a dream two nights ago as well that really just fall, man, they just go right together when the Lord is talking about dead ends. And so if you feel like you keep hitting dead ends in your life, then this message may be for you. Just like with any other prophetic word, every prophetic word will not be for every single person who tunes in, okay? Um, but like I said, many of you who are really joined in and connected with this ministry, the majority of them will be for you. And so it's important for you to do your part and to see how does it apply to your life and what is the Lord saying to you individually about it. And so in this vision, I saw literally just a dead end street. And the Lord was saying that so many people find themselves in dead end situations because when things don't almost instantaneously manifest in their lives the way that they want them to, then they go back to what they just left. They go back to what they just left. And sometimes you do this unconsciously. That means you're not deliberately choosing to do that. And other times you are consciously choosing to do that. But the point is that God needs you to be aware of it, whether you're doing it deliberately or not deliberately so that you can stop doing it. You know, there's that scripture that says that a dog returns to its own vomit is foolishness. And so if you find yourself constantly in the same dead end situations, relationships, circumstances, whatever the case may be for you, then I really pray that you seek the Lord and see what decisions do you constantly make that puts you back into that same space. And again, even as the Lord was saying, a lot of this has to do with when things don't change for you quick enough, then you go back to what you just left. And even the Lord was talking about going back to the familiar, but it getting you nowhere. Going back to the familiar and it getting you nowhere. And so the other day, I mentioned this other dream that I had. The other day I had this dream that um, I was back in my hometown. And as I was kind of like driving through there, then I was making notes, just kind of saying things um, that I connect with that place certain restaurants, certain street, um, that type of thing. And I was going to surprise my father to, to visit him. And so I was on the phone with him checking to see where he was, but somewhere in, in the middle of that, I ended up not in my car anymore. I had gotten out to stop to use the bathroom at a familiar restaurant. And for some reason, I started to walk the rest of my journey. And as I was walking, then I recognized and I was like, why am I walking instead of driving the car that I started in? So I turned back around to start to try to find my vehicle. And in this, the Lord was saying that 
sometimes again back to the familiar because a hometown is a place of familiarity right it's a place sometimes it's a place of comfort for a lot of people and it may not even be the comfort that you think like some of you like well i don't even like my hometown i don't even like those people or something like that but it's just it's a place of comfort because you know what's around you know how to move you know how to navigate well god was saying that even in that place of you going back again to what we mentioned earlier to what's comfortable then it's not getting you anywhere. And you noticed I went from the 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 car of actually traveling, which is gonna get you someplace quicker, to then all of a sudden I was walking and then I had to even backtrack and go back to try to find my vehicle. So God is saying so much in that dream and I pray that you receive what God is saying to you about this. Right now, the Holy Spirit is really speaking to very specific people in regards to this. And I just feel this from the presence of the Lord, that it's it's hard for you to kind of um, swallow this information right now because this is something that you know that you do. If it's something that you know that you struggle with, pray and ask the Lord to help you to, to get rid of it. Pray and ask him again to show you the specifics on what that may look like for you and believe and have an expectation that he will guide you through so that you can break through that cycle so there so that there will not continue to be dead ends in your life in any degree or any form all right well i just pray for you all you know that <laughs> i pray that you do that you know that we are always praying for you and lifting you up and i'm always seeking god and asking him well lord what do you want me to say to your people and so again i love you guys i pray that you just walk freely forwardly freely and no backtracking all right i'll talk to you guys soon Bye bye